What's up guys, Chaba here from Game of Conversions and welcome to uh, the second part of the copywriting breakdown of this magnificent sales letter written by Chris Haddad. So if you haven't watched video number one before, please make sure before watching this one because I'm going to be continuing where I left off in the last video. So I'm gonna leave a link straight under this video in the description section right now go ahead, check it out because that's like a 40 minute in-depth case study on what's going on with this specific promotion, uh, why it's so super powerful, why it's crushing it right now on cold traffic. This means that it's generating uh, millions, if not even maybe more than $10 million in sales per month this uh, specific offer and it's all because of the copywriting, all because of how super powerful and emotional and punch in the gut style storytelling uh, that this one has and it was written by master copywriter Chris Haddad. So Chris is considered to be arguably one of the best, if not the best uh, storytelling copywriters out there at the moment and uh, once again, like if you read this, you're going to be like dragged deep into this. I can promise you that. And for example, like yesterday evening, I showed the vi the video version of this uh, sales letter to my fiance, and she was she was basically glued to the monitor. And I actually wanted to say like what this product is about to basically spoil the product. And he she was like, no no no, please don't spoil it for me. I want to see what happens next. That's the power of a strong emotional uh, story and an emotional hook. And do believe me when I say that my fiance is like, she has a bit of ADHD probably because uh, her attention span is really, really short for these types of things. And even like this, uh, she watched like 25 minutes of the VSL just like that glued uh, to the monitor. So that's the power of a powerful story. So I'm not going to read it once again, but go check out the first video um, before watching this one. And I think we left off at around um, at around this part. Yes, at around the death of man. Now, before we continue, one thing very importantly, please make sure to like this video if you like these types of copywriting breakdowns. And if you're new to my channel, then please consider consider subscribing while also hitting the little notification icon because I'm releasing these videos daily nowadays and that way you'll be the first to know when I release a new uh, video such as this one. So it's really important for both the algorithm to recommend more of my videos to more people uh, and also to, uh, to me as well because it helps me grow uh, a lot faster. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's jump into uh, the next part of this magnificent sales letter. So after basically introducing the big problem and uh, doing an emotional uh, connection with the reader uh, by telling a nightmare story of what happened uh, and how this guy this guy who is like the avatar of this uh, of this promotion, Lawrence Lenoff, you know, basically the story goes that he saw a very, very hot girl um, in the supermarket and then uh, didn't really know what to say. But like even before saying something, he just wanted to express her like desire for her. And she basically yelled, get, a, get away from me, you creep, something like this. And then the whole story gets darker and darker. You know, the guy got arrested because like uh, some people perceived it as sexual assault or something like that. And then, uh, you know, he was angry at her. He was angry at the world. He, he felt like a rapist, even though he, he isn't one. Uh, and then he was trying to understand what's going on. And it's really important to have these types of stories because uh, our target audience, the people who are writing to, who we consider our uh, ideal customers also have these pain points because the target audience for this specific um, sales letter is probably more middle-aged guys, you know, who aren't really ladies men. So they, uh, they have trouble speaking to women, uh, dating women, uh, they hate being rejected, you know, they have a lot of confidence issues, but at the same time, you know, they might have tried dating, uh, products before the pickup artist community might have, uh, might have influenced them a little bit, but not that, but then they figured out that a lot of instructors in the pickup artist community are basically socio sociopaths who are just there to exploit women. Uh, but at the same time, they feel that there's some toxic femininity out there as well, toxic feminists, and they are trying to, 
uh, like destroy masculinity uh, because it's a problem. These are all things that our target audience believes. And it doesn't matter whether it's true or not. I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Depends on various stories. Uh, it's not our job as copywriters to politicize things. It's our job to uh, get relevant stories uh, read by um, our target audience by and, and stories that pre-validate their pre-existing beliefs okay because if they believe these things then this is what they'll be receptive to and this is what will connect with them emotionally this is the thing that establishes the know like and trust and this is very important before they actually do something for you they have to trust you first and you have to be uh, vulnerable you have to be honest to do this so after after like uh, the the nightmare part of this story. So whenever they were uh, the the hero of our story, which is basically a hero's journey, it's a typical story archetype. You can look it up on YouTube right now or on Google, hero's journey. Um, so they got at a very low point and they, uh, they said to themselves, okay, I have to make a change because otherwise my life is going to suck forever. Something like this. And then we continue with the story by, uh, you know, Remember, this guy is our avatar, Lawrence Lanoff. Even though the copywriter, Chris Haddad, wrote this, Lawrence Lanoff is our avatar. So he went on this discovery journey. And it's very important to highlight the discovery journey aspect because uh, people buy a transformation ultimately. They don't buy a product. They don't even buy the, uh, like the claims that this product makes, but they buy the transformation, the process of transformation. And by showing how uh, you know, the face of this brand has been through a, a transformation himself, you can uh, basically create a lot of emotional rapport with people immediately because they will feel like as if they were doing, going through the same transformation as the guy in our promotion, okay? So, um, uh, as the sales letter goes, you know, basically it, what this means, this part is that this guy, Lawrence, realized that, you know, there's a big problem and then he has to change something because otherwise uh, nothing come, nothing good will come of it. He can either blame women and become bitter, uh, he can blame himself and then once again he can become bitter or uh, he could see the feminist nightmare as the incredible opportunity it is uh, to actually get laid more and get more women. So this is kind of like what John Carlton, another legendary copywriter, would call incongruous juxtaposition. It's a big word, incongruous juxtaposition. But what this means, in essence, is that um, you combine two contrasting elements. You combine one, which is sounds really weird. It's like feminist nightmare. Like, what's the feminist nightmare? Uh, okay, I, I never heard about this like this before. And at the same time, you might consider this feminist nightmare as to be bad for you as a guy. But at the same time, the same sentence says that this is actually good for you. So it's like, uh, here's the opportunity, the new opportunity that you haven't seen before. And that's what gives hope uh, to people, to our readers, to our viewers. It's no wonder why Star Wars, which is like the poster child for the hero's journey uh, story framework, uh, episode four is called a new hope, like Luke Skywalker, a new hope, right? The same thing is happening here. This is just st Star Wars or Odyssey uh, all over again. So uh, as the story goes, you know, the guy Lawrence, basically he decided to get revenge, uh, not on her, but on the world that has transformed desire and sex into something dirty and shameful. So this sets up the unique mechanism of the problem. And Stefan Georgi talks a lot about this, this, the unique mechanism of problem. And what this means is that as the guy or uh, our uh, avatar goes through the self-discovery journey, he encounters several solutions that uh, sound legit, but at the end don't really work. And these are all potential solutions uh, and potential roadblocks that our target audience also um, is likely to experience or has already experienced before. So once again, this part is a bit more advanced, so don't worry if you, if you feel like this is a little bit too much for you, but this is a more advanced copywriting strategy to actually build even more emotional rapport with people. But it's very, very, extremely effective. So um, 
Basically, what Chris Haddad does here as the copywriter is describe how our avatar, Lawrence, uh, actually like goes through the rest of his story and then there's a bunch of paint the dream uh, type of um, of um, language as well there's a lot of NLP like neuro linguistic programming type of language here as well because he's describing the problem he's describing things that are not really good about existing solutions but at the same time he's describing how an ideal solution would look like how um you know uh an ideal world would look like for our target audience it's like i wanted to learn how to make women want me to look at me the way i looked at them to fantasize about me to connect with me to screw the living hell out of the real me giggle when i sh when i slap them on the ass come back for seconds and bring their gorgeous friends and thank me for being a man so these are all things that uh people in our target audience desire uh deep down in their hearts this is what they want okay this is what they want uh even though they might not be willing or able to acknowledge it this is what they want deep down and this is what the sales letter is giving them it's giving them hope okay and then the story goes on to uh to explain how you know uh there's a false myth when it comes to women and sex because most people believe that women don't like sex because most of these guys in our target audience they get rejected a lot probably uh by gorgeous women and they start feeling like okay so maybe women just don't like sex so what uh but it turns out it's not necessarily it's it's something that's true and once again in order for a sales sales argument to go through you definitely have to like uh, systematically deconstruct the false beliefs that our target audience has because otherwise they won't buy otherwise they will feel like yeah you know this is not for me yeah i mean it sounds nice and all but everybody knows that women just don't like sex as much as men men do right uh and as long as they believe that they're all sales killers they're all uh, objections that you definitely want to uh, solve you definitely want to get out uh, from their system okay so we have a reframe here which is like it's because despite everything you've ever been told women don't like sex they love it so this is like what they're gonna read it and they'll they're gonna be like what but it's true uh and uh, that's what the sales letter i mean i don't know exactly how true it is probably it, it depends on the person it, you cannot generalize something like this some women like it some women don't probably they on average they like it less than men they don't necessarily want it that much because it's not it wasn't necessarily evolutionary uh a selective pressure for them to like it um but this is what our target audience wants to believe and to some degree it's true as well so this gives even more hope to our reader so um, then the, the next uh, objection that we're answering preemptively is that like okay so if they love sex like why uh, why don't women just admit it and then we get the answer almost immediately this is once again like just a preemptive objection handling element so why three confusing but powerful reasons one women are terrified of rejection even more than guys are Two, women have been taught that only sluts want sweaty, passionate, animalistic sex with men. Three, to avoid rejection, to avoid being judged when it comes to sex and lust and connection and pure physical pleasure, women speak in a secret code most men are biologically incapable of understanding. Ah, a secret code. The thing that's going on here uh, is that the copywriter is starting to introduce uh, these types of little snippets of secrets and like there's a mystery behind these things and uh, the reason why uh, most people don't know about this is because this is basically forbidden knowledge or a lot of men just don't care about this or uh, nobody's ever put the time in to really unpack uh, and uncover these secrets okay but by teasing secret code uh, it, it 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 gets people even more curious about this thing it, it assumes that there's like this this push button solution to the uh dating problem that guys in our target audience are having okay and uh if you could just understand the secret code you could easily do this overnight okay and basically that's also what our headline says it, it says finally revealed for the first time ever how to make any woman sexually obsessed with you and only you without even touching her even better, she'll have no idea what you're doing, why she's suddenly repulsed by other guys, or why she's suddenly so dis 
is desperate to give you everything you crave. You must read this opportunity right now or miss out on the greatest sexual opportunity for average regular man in over ten in over thousand years. So it's uh, it's hypey, sure, but it's uh, it's what our target audience wants to hear and it gets their attention. And you know, you have to back it up with proof. That's definitely true, but the story itself kind of acts like a proof because it's like an emotional discovery story and then later on we're going to have more proof elements like social proof and testimonials and case studies and all other cool stuff there so it's very important to hint at like a new opportunity that's the key to your number one desire and it's only available through a new mechanism so we have like a new uh, mechanism here as well and this brings us into the territory of the unique mechanism of the solution so we've talked about the unique mechanism of the problem before. Now we get into the unique mechanism of the solution. And we talk about how, you know, women have this secret sexual language and they do like these broadcasts and, uh, you know, they have this language of lust thing. And it's the name of the product itself, language of lust. And then... We get a lot of cool little fascinations and cool uh, teases uh, like, but this fat little gigolo taught me the Fort Knox phrase that had women ripping over their purses and paying to have sex with him while so many other guys can't get laid to save their lives. So Fort Knox phrase, like, wow, I mean, that sounds powerful, but like, what the hell is a Fort Knox phrase? And notice how Chris said that isn't, the, uh, like, you don't know what, the fourth Knox phrase is you just get a tease that it's so super powerful okay so then the story continues in how you know our guy uh, Lawrence basically uh, came up with 33 powerful tricks techniques and phrases that make that wake the animal in a woman make her feel safe and open with you and only you and fixes her sexual hunger on you right where it belongs so this is something like I made uh, a unique discovery and from now on, you know, I put together, put this together into a unique system that you cannot really find anywhere else. And then we even get stuff like I had created an owner's manual for a woman's most important erogenous zone, her mind and her imagination. So, you know, it sounds reasonable, right? So there's also reason why copy here. Gary Bensevenga always talks about reason why copy. It's how your sales argument has to make sense logically as well. But it makes sense, right? It's like, oh, okay, so there is the secret language that women use, body language and like how they tilt their head and what they're saying or, you know, stuff like that. And then if you could just read that and decipher it, you could give back signals which triggers some sort of animalistic behavior in them. I'm not really exactly sure whether this is 100% true or not. It's probably true with some women, but not with others. Again, it depends on the individual, okay? So there are so many individual differences, but like um, this really creates desire in, in our reader to find out more, to... to uh, to feel like yes, finally there is a solution, and ah, the 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 reason why I I was not successful before is because I just didn't know this. I tried going to dating seminars and like uh, hiring pickup coaches and learning opening lines and stuff like that, but it's not about that. It's all about like uh, just deciphering the secret language of women. Okay, I didn't know that. That's what you want in the reader. Okay, this type of attitude shift. And then we get more information, more very, very vivid NLP language, like, check this out, like the lost mirror phrase that I discovered. Whoa, what's the lost mirror phrase? My wrist itched suddenly, flashing back to the feeling of handcuffs. But I knew it worked when her pupils dilated, when her nipples hardened, when her hips tilted towards me, when she smiled, she wiggled over to me, sat down on the bench and put her shoes on. Yeah, so this is actually, uh, this goes uh, back to the same woman who uh, who said, get away from me, you creep, in the beginning of the story. So this is the redemption arc. This is like uh, Star Wars A New Hope, okay? So uh, the Empire Strike back, Strikes Back was the unique mechanism of the problem, and this is the unique mechanism of the solution is the new hope. Because now, okay, everything comes full circle. Finally, I, as Lawrence, managed to uh, to 
decipher women finally and you know it's my duty now to share this with other men as well that's like the transition to the product itself and notice that we are at the half halfway mark of the sales page so we are getting uh, very close to the uh, product reveal uh, but it's a really um, really nice little subtle um, logical and reason why based transition from story to product because if you just you know give them a story and you share a lot of ball number teams but then you say okay so by the way i created this product just because like i wanted to make money and here it is go buy it now like it's like it's not good <laughs> people won't really like it that much so that's why you have to uh, be a little bit, bit more creative and actually in this sales letter i see that you know the story goes that lawrence you know the guy in the story uh told so from the perspective of lawrence it goes like this I told my best friend Rob everything at lunch in Santa Monica that day. Rob wasn't exactly good with the ladies. His ex has dumped him a year before and he hadn't been with the girl since. He looked at me like a starving man finding a truckload of donuts and said, give me the damned words right now. So this kind of acts as the motivation behind why there's actually, why there actually is a product uh, behind this 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 whole idea and everything and as the readers are reading this they're gonna be like oh okay wow so this lawrence such a good guy like he actually created this product so that you know this this worked for him this worked for his friend then we have like uh other information of how this this has worked for others as well like check this out without even thinking about it i doled out just a few of my techniques to guys i knew some barely 20 some in their 70s and again and again they raved about how it was like flipping the sex switch in their wives or girlfriends or complete strangers being okay like everything just opened up their lives changed and um uh, and then now I, as Lawrence, was kind of forced to like create something that I can share with the world because this obviously works and I want to help my brethren. I want to help the uh, like uh, guys all over the world uh, become better at this and get more uh, benefits that they want, okay? So, um, so then we have the final transition here with a, like a philosophical question, let's say. So are you ready to feel like what it's like to be her sexual drug dealer? Now, this is hypey, obviously, but please keep in mind that for a target audience, ultimately, it's all about control. Like, these guys have confidence issues. They want to control beautiful women. Like, what else? The, the ultimate power for men, uh, the ultimate desire, but, like, men don't want to, like, even women and men don't want to acknowledge this, but it's true. Uh, the ultimate power for men is power over women, okay? That's what gives them the highest hierarchy in in any type of the highest position in any type of hierarchy it's not ugly and i'm not saying it's good or anything but like uh deep down like think about it if you're a guy even if you're a good guy or something like that deep down don't you really feel a little bit of envy sometimes for people like dan bilzerian or something like that who or like hugh hefner or people like that sure you may despise him and he's probably a piece of shit or something like that uh, although i don't know him personally so who am i to judge but probably not the kind the nicest guy ever but uh but like don't you this uh, like uh, envy him a little bit just a little bit like he has so much control over his life over women and that's the 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 real core desire that people want they don't necessarily want the the same level of control that he has but our target audience wants to have this control with like one woman in their life, okay? So they just want the satisfaction of, of being able to experience this once in their in their lives. So then uh, we get introduced to the product. So here's the deal and it's just for you. The language of lust. The result of over five years of nonstop intensive research, glorious in-person testing and work. So we get the product reveal. We get the unique proposition, unique selling proposition. Then we have... have like a short overview, still like a very emotionally charged overview of what's in the product. And then we have uh, a product uh, showcase. Uh, and it even goes like this. Here's just a tiny sample of the secrets you're going to learn and the amazing results you're going to almost automatically get when you discover the language of lust today. And then we get a lot of fascinations. You know, I've been 
raving about fascinations before for in many of my videos so go check out my videos specifically on fascinations from mel martin from clayton makepeace from david deutsch from uh eugene schwartz these are the people who invented fascinations paris lampropolis also uh and and we get a bunch of fascinations here and there they have a benefit aspect and they have a curiosity aspect as well so we have something like the pavlov's panty drencher technique Wow, okay. How to tickle her emotional G-spot. Emotional G-spot? I didn't know there was something like that. Oh, okay, now I want to find out more. So she begs you to be your personal slut while turning other guys down and insisting she's not the kind of girl to everyone but you. I call it the lost mirror technique, uh, the pleasure resistance principle, the kink exposure method. And that's just the tip of the erotic iceberg, okay? And then we get even more fascinations. You also discover the orgasm chemical, the slot barrier, like how to tear down the slot barrier and get even the nicest good girl to be very, very bad. Wow, this is something that people in our target audience want. They, it's in their fantasy, okay? Like, just like a lot of women have this secret fantasy to be taken by guys, like just look at all the... Uh, Twilight and the Fifty Shades of Grey type of novels which are best sellers every time because that's what women secretly desire so and this is what guys secretly desire to like uh, maybe even you know have nice girls do slutty things for them and only them nobody else but at the same time also have like these bombshell girls do all sorts of uh, nasty things with them and once again only them the Just Coffee Mind Lay the Four Minute uh, eye gaze, the sexual singularity, the oral intensifier. Wow, okay, so a simple phrase which makes her feel like you're doing her a favor by letting her go down on you. Ooh, okay, so this is once again something interesting. The emotional revenge met method, it instantly triggers a vicious flood of emotions in a woman. You'll see a slightly cruel smile across her lips, a glint in her eye, and you lean back and enjoy the ride as she gets back at her ex by giving you the dirty, sweaty time of your life and so much more. Wow. So this is what builds a lot of desire in our target audience. Uh, and then we have a, a, a neuro-linguistic programming part once again, which kind of builds even more desire and it paints the dream of how this would look like, okay? So Chris Haddad even says, can you feel that? Your heart pounding in your chest, the dryness in your mouth, that incredible need you feel to know this, to be able to do this, to have this power over women. How much is it worth to have this at your fingertips? How much is it worth to be any woman's ultimate sexual fantasy? How much is it worth to be the master of her imagination? Wow, right? Okay, so this this just builds more and more and more desire. The first part of the sales letter was more about intrigue and like emotional connection, but this is all about lust and desire. At this point, a lot of people are salivating to, to find out, finally find out the answers to these secrets. And then as we get to the price, you know, we get a typical type of a price presentation where you start with a, a higher price, you anchor it at the higher price and you go down two or three levels uh, and then the whole product seems like a way better deal but you also rationalize it it's not enough anymore to just say okay special price uh, half off why? why why are you like is the product bad or something why why are you doing a half off price so that's why you have to definitely uh, explain the reasoning why you're doing uh, like half price off okay and then we get the first uh, price anchor which is at $497 uh, but then, you know, there's a lot of reason why copy of how most guys aren't really rich and like, uh, you know, I don't want to like exploit you for a lot of money for this. So I'm not going to ask you, uh, so you're not going to pay 497. I'm not even going to ask you to invest a brutally cheap 297. For you, I'm setting the price of the language of lust at just one single payment of 97 would be normally. But now if you take action right now, I'll give you another 50% off that already discounted price. Simply click the button below right now and you'll get the complete language is lost program for the discounted price of just $47 immediate action discount so what else do you want a lot of yeah, like you can scoop up a lot of sales by giving them uh the um the discounted price okay so it's like um 
you already get a good deal, but if you act right now, you get a 50% off. So think about it. We started at like almost $500 and now you can get it for $47. What? Like $47? Nowadays, that's just an impulse buy, right? I mean, the government is handing out money in the US at least, um, left and right. And uh, $47, like you can spend way more uh, on, like if you buy, I don't know, two pizzas uh, or something, uh, and they're expensive pizzas, uh, you spend $47 or something. So why, why not? This can change your entire life. And we have a big ass call to action button. Yes, add to cart. You know, this is just so that people don't miss it at all. And notice once again how the design is pretty ugly, but uh, ugly oftentimes convert. Uh, converts. That's the truth. Uh, good design doesn't really convert that well. So here's how it works. We have ordering instructions. Once again, people need this because they have a lot of uncertainty. And also our target audience, think about it. These guys, they are afraid of rejection. They have low self-esteem probably. They have confidence issues. So they have this uncertainty inside them. They have a lot of anxiety. And this part is there to alleviate that anxiety uh, and uh, mentioning how, you know, there's a money back guarantee as well. And then once you click the button, what's going to happen, you know, all these stuff. And then we get introduced to new bonuses as well. Uh, whenever you're selling something, it's, it's a very good idea usually to include bonuses because it just knocks people off the fence. You know, they want to feel like they're getting a good deal. And the way to make them feel like they're getting a good deal is to give them a good price and to also over deliver on all the deliverables that you're giving them. So unlocking the threesome code. Wow. Okay. Personal porn star activation. Okay. Uh, the nice guy's guide to, to texting dirty. And I notice how there are uh, very eye-catching um, photos here, like beautiful women in black lingeries, you know, texting and like big cleavage here. Uh, it's, it's, it's really desire building at this point, both visually and as well as from the copy perspective. Okay, and I can see the difference. Like I use these text for these uh, images for the thumbnail, as you might have seen, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's effective. People click on it. Uh, so then, you know, once again, we get like a little offer recap. It's like, hey, so if we add everything up, you know, uh, the problem cost, you know, it, it's worth a lot. It's worth a lot, definitely, but now it's just $47 for all this. You know, you get all this, think about it. You get this and this and this. And I'll be, ultimately, it's basically just, I think it's uh, not even a CD-ROM or a DVD or something. It's just a book, uh, I think, but uh, but it seems like you're getting a lot of, a lot of things. Yeah, and it's like $600 worth of stuff for less than 50 bucks. So, I mean, that's it. <laughs> like, what what else do you want? Uh, and then we have, you know, even more future pacing of what what uh, happens. It's like once you do that, you'll get your special invite login credentials, which you must not share with anyone. So this is this builds up value for it even more, and it lowers their uh, anxiety even more. This is just future pacing. This is very important once again from a conversion perspective. You want people to start visualizing things because whenever they visualize, the same parts of their brains are uh, engaged as as when they're uh, like viewing something and and seeing something for real. The same circuitry is is at work in their brains. So you are going to be amazed at how your life changes once you learn this. How women just look at you differently. All these things, you know. And then we have a classic crosswords. A crossroads uh, close, which means that, you know, the uh, idea here goes like this. So look, the reader, uh, you have two choices now. Option one is to leave this page without enrolling into the pro pro uh, program. And that's good and all, you know, you've been doing okay uh, until this point. But if you do this, I must warn you, it's my duty to warn you, warn you that, you know, going to have a lot of frustration, shame, failure, feelings of inadequacy, and all these things. But if you say yes, then you're going to get like, uh, you're going to learn the secret language of feminine lust, the magic words that send a flood of pleasure through the whole body and make her ravenous for you and only you. Be one of the few guys who still get to act like and feel like a guy and have women adore you for it. Yes, at the card. And then there's also a money back guarantee. So it's like, it's a no brainer, right? Either you do nothing and then l basically lose everything or keep experiencing frustration, or you take a risk-free uh, step 
towards potentially changing your life. I mean, it's a no-brainer, right? Uh, and then we have like one more little motivational part here, which says, do you know what women find irresistibly attractive in men? No, not confidence. That's total BS. Decisiveness. The ability to see something you want and you can feel you want this so much and go after it. And surprise, surprise, decisiveness is also needed to buy this product, right? So it's a nice little uh, parallel between decisiveness in relationships as a strong and attractive quality in men and decisiveness in, uh, in buying this product right now. So really smart by Chris Dad once again. And then, you know, we have a little bit of other um, us versus them motivational speak at the, at the end as well by saying that, oh, and remember when I said I wanted revenge on society that's made being a man something dirty and shameful? Well, I got my revenge and it was very sweaty and passionate and very, very sweaty. Uh, and I want you to have your revenge too, but I can only do that if you click the button right now. This is your one chance to have the sex and power you've always wanted. Don't give up. Don't walk away. Click the button right now. Wow. So it's really powerful. And if I click the button, basically it opens up a little uh, checkout page. Yes. And uh, there's also a little FOMO here, like a um, fear of missing out. You know, there's going to be upsells after this, like bonus trainings to maybe add to this and then instant access. And I love how they're asking for uh, the uh, email address first, because even if people don't buy, you know, uh, they are going to get cart abandonment emails here. So a lot of people won't buy, they start uh, entering their email address, but then they change their minds when they, when they see their uh, credit card number and uh, they're going to have uh, problems with this. Okay, so uh, that's why we ask for the email in advance. So yeah, um, one thing I would probably improve with this, the storytelling is obviously amazing and on point, but I would probably ha include uh, uh, an FAQ section at the end. So like a frequently asked questions, because a lot of uh, people will have as uh, questions for this, and it usually adds around a 10 to 15% conversion boost to a sales letter. So, you know, Gary Bensavenga always said that in order to get really good at copywriting, read a proven promotion each uh, day and then uh, find one area that you could improve upon. And I think an FAQ would improve on this really well. But like at this point, it doesn't really matter that much because the story itself is so incredibly powerful. And as you can see, it's just a, it's just a page, ugly design, a lot of like in your face text, all it takes is a good copywriter and you can make millions and millions of dollars with it. But obviously it all depends on research and what people really want, people in the target audience. So yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for uh, watching this video and following this journey with me. If you haven't checked out uh, part one of this, then please make sure to do it right now because uh, that way you'll get the whole picture. And if you want to... Uh, follow me and, uh, and, and, and watch more of these proven sales that are breakdown videos, which are super, super valuable, by the way, like I haven't seen any, any, uh, proven sales that are video breakdown library on YouTube before. And I, there's not many in paid, paid courses either. So this is really something unique and special. Uh, but if you're interested in that, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel, to like the video, to comment under it and to share it with others as well. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And see you in the next one. Ciao out.